Today is St. Nicholas Day, Nikolaus Tag, which for many German kids means that they get chocolates, nuts, and other treats. But it's not all fun and games, because St. Nicholas Day in Germany also means this. Hello, servus, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Feli, I'm originally from Munich, Germany, but I've been living here in Cincinnati, Ohio, on and off since 2016. Now, if you've seen my recent video about everything you need for a real German Christmas, you probably equate German Christmas with Glühwein, Lebkuchen, Advent wreaths, Christmas markets, and all of these nice things that make it such a wholesome and positive experience. But there is another element of German Christmas, or of St. Nicholas Day to be exact, December 6th, that is quite the opposite of that. And his name is Krampus. He has become kind of famous in other countries over the last few years, especially here in the US. I feel like people are very fascinated by the idea of Krampus. But what even is Krampus? What does he do? And why is he a part of German Christmas? I've mentioned him a couple times before, like in my video about German Christmas traditions or when I visited the Christkindle market in Chicago last year, but it was only ever a few side sentences here and there. So let's talk a little bit more about him today. And I I came across two guys that might be able to explain this a lot better than myself. Christoph Waltz and Flula Borg have both talked about Krampus on American TV before. So let's see what they had to say about him. First, we got Christoph Waltz, who grew up in Austria, but he also has German citizenship through his German father. And this interview is from 2014 on Jimmy Fallon. Let's see what he has to say. I was talking to you backstage because I was saying, oh my God, we're so happy the holidays are here uh, and, and coming around. We're talking about the difference between the United States and, and Austria. They have a couple in, of traditions. In, in, uh, enormous. The uh, 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 universe is part of us um, because <laughs> yeah. we, we have... We're not a lenient, sort of permissive culture like the U.S. is. Uh, we're, we're, we're okay, so no, he's talking about Austria, right? But this applies to, I mean, the stereotype of a German culture as well, right? And one thing that's always good to keep in mind is that where I'm from, Bavaria, the southern part of Germany, is actually culturally more similar to Austria than to a lot of other parts of Germany. That's how funny. Uh, uh, we are strict and, and you know, orderly and... Um, well, we're a little orderly. I mean, like, for instance, we have this, we have this here, this guy. <laughs> okay, confession. I do know that Elf on the Shelf is a thing here, and I think it's just parents hiding them in the house or something like that. But I've never really fully understood this tradition, so if anyone could explain that to me, that would be helpful. I think Ben and I even have one in the basement. We found that thing here in the basement when we moved in. I thought it was kind of creepy, but I don't really understand the idea behind this thing. Like, what's the purpose here? Hey, y'all. <laughs> that's, what, that's what Elf in the Shelf says. Hey, y'all. Yeah? Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, really? And what he does is we have a thing, Elf on the Shelf. And you, what you do is he, he shows up at all of your house, and, he, and he, you don't know where he's going to show up. And he, and he will uh, tell on you if you're naughty. To, oh, to, really? He, Is that the meaning behind it? That kids basically feel like they're being watched? He goes back to the North Pole every night and tells, tells on, uh, on the kids if they're naughty. Well, that, I, really? I suppose that's where it starts, you know. <laughs> well, I mean, that's not, that's not where it starts. It's where it starts and ends. It's fun. He's a cute little elf. <laughs> and everyone has a good time. Looks like a wimp. I look like a wimp. He's a tiny he's little so elf. And he's a so full cool. grown elf, and that's what elves look like. And he's cheery and holiday and festive and fun. Now, what do you uh, have in Austria? We, um, well, Christmas is a different thing. We, we, you know, we have sort of the, the, the precursor to Santa Claus on the 6th of December, uh -huh. uh, St. Nicholas, that's the day. And on the eve of that day, we do the proper thing. Um, it's, it's a Catholic country. It works through traumatization. And... Um, <laughs> it, it, it. Sorry, Catholics. We have. We we try to keep kids in in in, in order and yeah. in their place, and yeah. we have Krampus. Now, guys, this is not a made-up thing. It's they not. have Krampus. Kramp I, if if you want a Krampus, yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. That's what I get. <laughs> Krampus. Krampus. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 
I apologize. And uh, so Krampus, what does Krampus do down to the kids? It, it, he sits on a, he, he hides around the house? Take that away. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> he, 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 take the wimp away. No, I don't know if that's what he said. He's uh, St. Nicholas's assistant. Oh, yeah. Meaning, you know, we, we look at the, 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 the flip side, sort of the di dialectic approach. That, uh, um, St. Nicholas comes with praise and presence and uh, yeah. wisdom. And Krampus? Krampus with uh, a stick, a bag, and um, he threatens you, you with... You, if you weren't good, you get stuck in the bag and hit and shipped off. <laughs> shipped off? Oh. I mean, yeah, he's not wrong, though. Uh, now, look, uh, honestly, even, even that description, as bad as that is, wouldn't be that bad, except... We actually got a Krampus doll. And this is a, I wish I was, I'm not making this up. You ready to see what Krampus looks like? <laughs> oh my God. That's it. I'm not joking. That's Krampus. N I'm not joking either. No, this is, this is, <laughs> we researched. This is St. Nicholas and, Kr and Krampus, Eve of yeah. December 5th. That version uh, looks a little bit nicer. I mean, it's a real thing, you guys. Look at this thing. <laughs> you have to, you have to remember Sigmund Freud was hey Austrian. <laughs> hey y'all. America meets Austria. Y'all ready to have happy holiday? Yeah. Get in my bag! <laughs> Get in the bag! There's actually an old medieval uh, tradition that still is kept alive in the mountains where young men put literally on, uh, you know, sheepskin that looks like that, only white, and masks like that, huge carved wooden masks, uh, cowbells, they get drunk, uh, not necessarily, not necessarily in that order, they get drunk first and then they do the other, and they run, storm, like the, the, the riders of the ap yep. apocalypse through the village, and and uh, Krampus you, Krampus Khan? Yes, they have a Krampus. <laughs> Krampus Khan. Most frightening thing in the whole. There's a thing, at least here in Cincinnati. I think it exists in other parts of the U.S. as well. Santa Con, where basically um, it's actually this upcoming Saturday here in Cincinnati. Um, ben and I are going to go to it, and it's basically just a bunch of people, like hundreds and thousands of people, dressing up as Santa Claus or anything else like Christmas related and um, basically storming the streets and going on huge pub crawls, but it's like the streets are flooded in them. Oh, I will. Oh, okay, that was it anyways. Okay, that was a good first description by Christoph Waltz. I think he did a really good job. And next up we have Flula Borg. This clip is called Christmas is a fear-based holiday in Germany. Um, for those of you who don't know Flula, he's a German comedian who's mainly active in the US and he usually portrays this like role of a typical German. And this interview was in 2017 on Conan O'Brien. It is the season, it is Christmas, and I'm curious, you are a, a German fellow. Earlier yeah. in the show, we had a little uh, comedy sketch uh, featuring Krampus, I think the Germans call him Krampus. Well, so for Christmas, uh, we have, uh, you guys have a fun Santa man. He is fun and up and down and jelly bean and what, 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 mistletoe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no. Uh, we have a fear-based holiday is our Christmas. Mm -hmm. um, as you know... Christmas! <laughs> like, okay, nothing against his accent. I'm sure that he's hilarious to Americans, but he's just overdoing the German accent to a point where, like, if you've seen my video about how to do a German accent and how not to do a German accent, he's doing the thing that Germans don't actually do, but that Americans find really funny and that Americans think that that's a German accent, if that makes sense. So we, I don't think any German would actually say Christmas, <laughs> but oh well. Oh, children are, um, can I say assholes? Yeah. Assholes, can I say assholes? Children are assholes? Yes, yes. So, yes so children, <laughs> as we know, uh, children are assholes. And so you need to be uh, scaring them so they are quiet and very much just, please just eat your beef jerky and do your algebra, please. Right. <laughs> yeah. So that is the German philosophy, is scare the child because the child deserves to be scared. That's correct. So we have created a team of scary monsters for Christmas. It's yeah. like, have you seen the show Cheers? Yeah. It's like this, but uh, all of the cast members eat babies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so, so who, these characters I have not are seen that show. really I don't scary know. to kids. Holy cow cow. Yeah, have you seen that? You met no. <laughs> Oh, Holy Krampus, cow, yeah, cow. I know about Krampus. Krampus does not give you the fears and make yes. the bowels go bleep. No, well, not specifically that, but yeah, yes, yeah, Krampus is very scary. Yeah, well, Krampus to a child, he's going to make a freak out, or she, all the genders will make a freak out with Krampus. He's an equal gender terrifier. Okay, all right. 
I think you have a, you brought a picture of this is real adults dressed as Krampus to scare children. Is that right? Yes, these are actual parents. That's horrifying. Why? That's it's just terrifying. Look at that. Child. That is horrifying. That is that child? <laughs> Do you, do it you looks like he's being kidnapped. You can tell by the picture. It's an old picture. It was a while ago. <laughs> okay. Hold on. We missed that. I'm sorry, guys. I'm ruining the jokes. Why? That's. It's just terrifying. Look at that child. That child's not having fun. Is that child? Do you do you see a misbehaving child? No, he's behaving. <laughs> okay. He's behaving. So, are there any? Any female Christmas characters in Germany? Yes, Conan O'Brien. Uh, we have equal genders everywhere, um, yeah. of course. And so we have Frau Perchter. Mm -hmm. um, Frau Perchter. Frau Perchter. She is not Fräulein Perchter. She is married. Yeah. Uh, we have not seen the husband for many generations. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but if you are rude to Frau Perchter, she will uh, remove your internal organs. Uh, Oregon? Organs? Yes, How do you organs. Say it? organs, organs yeah. why, why do you have a state named? We don't. That's Oregon. That's Oregon. That is not Oregon. So it's, it's different. Not That's no. We didn't name the state after, uh, after like, intestines. No. That seems like an odd. That would odd, have been an odd thing to it's do. An odd choice. Like yeah. who did that? No. No one did that. Flula. Okay. So, Lincoln. Okay. Sorry. So the organs we have replaced. We've replaced these organs with uh, trash. That is what she does. Wait. So she takes. <laughs> she opens people up and she takes out their organs and then replaces it with trash. She replaces the organs with trash. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a theory. We the think organs. She's the first uh, German to have started recycling. <laughs> um, so, yeah, a pioneer in this way, you know, yeah. what, what, hoot, hoot. Uh, yeah, okay. That was a pretty good introduction to Krampus. So yeah, Krampus is one version of St. Nicholas's companions. He's his counterpart, if you will, who is responsible for punishing the naughty kids. And he's not the only version of that companion, but we'll talk about the other ones later. Krampus is mainly prevalent in the Eastern Alpine region, including parts of Bavaria, where I'm from, Austria, where Christoph Waltz is from, Liechtenstein, South Tyrol, which is German speaking but belongs to Italy today, and even in countries like Hungary, Croatia, Slovenia, Slovakia, and the Czech Republic. Now to get some more context here, we need to talk about St. Nicholas for a second, who is the real life historical figure that the American Santa Claus is based on. He was a Greek bishop who lived in a region called Lycia, I believe that's how it's pronounced, that is located in modern day Turkey in the fourth century AD. December 6th is the day he died, which is why it's become his commemoration day. But over time, the legend of St. Nicholas has developed very differently in different parts of the world. As I said, the figure of Santa Claus derived from him too, through the Dutch version of Sinterklaas. But to this day, he's an essential part of Christmas traditions in many different cultures, and he exists in addition to Santa Claus, or in addition to any other gift giver. In Germany, we have the Christkind, for example, who brings the presents in the Alpine regions, like in my family, or the Weihnachtsmann, the German version of Santa Claus, who brings the presents in many parts of Middle and Northern Germany. In the Netherlands, St. Nicholas Eve, so the night of December 5th, is even the main day for presents, instead of Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. In Germany, the main day for presents is Christmas Eve, but kids also get something for St. Nicholas. Traditionally, they put a boot or shoe in front of the door on the night of December 5th, and then in the morning of December 6th, they'll find that St. Nicholas has filled them with things like nuts, tangerines, gingerbread, chocolate, and other candy, and some kids even get a toy or other bigger presents. In some families, St. Nicholas also comes to their home, or he makes appearances at schools and other public events, and in many cases, he's not alone. And this is where Krampus comes into play. As you just saw in the clips, he's usually portrayed as a monster-like creature with hooves and horns and a long tongue, and while St. Nicholas brings presents to the kids that were well-behaved, Krampus's job is to punish the not-so-well-behaved kids with birch rods, and he even carries a basket sometimes in which he takes the naughty kids away. That's what Christoph Weiss explained. We don't really know the exact origins of the Krampus folklore, but it seems to be based on pagan rituals that at some point became part of Christian customs, and he's also somewhat of a devil-like creature or like a demonic creature, but he's not supposed to be 
the devil, if that makes sense. It's basically a wild mix of a lot of different old traditions and various influences. And sometimes it's not even just one Krampus that accompanies St. Nicholas, but several of them all at once. So I guess it's also supposed to be more of a species rather than a single figure. And one event where you'll find hundreds of them at the same time are these so-called Krampusläufe, the Krampus runs that Christa Feitz just talked about. They're kind of like a parade where adults dress up as Krampus and yes, they look very scary and then they walk through the streets slash run through the streets at times and make a lot of noise and chase after pedestrians. And yes, alcohol is usually a part of it too. So in that regard, I guess Flula is right about Christmas being a fear-based holiday in Germany, but it really only applies to St. Nicholas Day. Krampus isn't really a part of the rest of German Christmas at all. And he's also really just a thing in a few parts of Germany. In the majority of the country, the companion of St. Nicholas is a much nicer looking guy, usually referred to as Knecht Ruprecht. He's a human, so yes, much less scary, who usually wears a brown or black robe. And in some versions, he's also here to bring the birch rod for punishing bad children, but in other versions, he simply helps St. Nicholas giving out the presents. By the way, both Krampus and Knecht Ruprecht have many different names depending on the region. So if you grew up with them, let me know in the comments below what they're called in your region. And Knecht Ruprecht even makes a secret appearance on my Glühwein Max, by the way. If you missed it, you can get these on fadifromgermany.com. They're made in Germany and Ben and I worked on them all year to bring you guys that German Christmas feeling to your home. Because believe me, if you haven't tried Glühwein, mold wine, you need to try it. I mean, it can be non-alcoholic too, but it'll 100% get you through the cold season. But one of the things that you'll find on the design is a verse from this German poem by Theodor Sturm from 1862 called Knecht Ruprecht. I think every German knows this part. It goes, von draus vom Walde komme ich her, ich muss euch sagen, es weihnachtet sehr. Which basically translates to something like, I'm coming from the forest outside and I, Gotta tell you, it's Christmas in very much. <laughs> That was a butchering poetry 101. A lot of you have already ordered these, so make sure to be quick because I only have limited supply. It took forever to get them here from Germany. And I mean, they make for an amazing Christmas gift, whether that's to a loved one or to yourself, of course. And 20% of the profits will be donated to the National Alliance to End Homelessness. And those of you who already have this mug at home now know a little bit more about its meaning. Now, Krampus has really become quite a popular topic over the last 10 years or so. A whole comic book series named Krampus was released in 2014. And in 2015, they even made a horror movie based on Krampus. One thing that I feel like is important to point out though, is that even though it might appear like that, Krampus is not something that German kids are constantly confronted with. In most parts of Germany, as I said, he's not even a thing, but even in the regions where he is, in a lot of cases, St. Nicholas just shows up all alone. I feel like most of the times that I saw him as a kid, he was either alone or with a Knecht Ruprecht figure instead of a scary Krampus. I mean, Krampus does exist and kids where I'm from know of him and have seen pictures and maybe have seen some real life Krampuses too, but it's not like we traumatize our kids with this monster all the time. And even the whole naughty or nice thing isn't really something that most parents utilize anymore, at least in my experience. But let me know in the comments below if you guys grew up with any kind of St. Nicholas or Krampus or Knecht Ruprecht figure and how that was handled in your childhood or also how you guys handle it with your children today. Now, before I wrap it up, I have a recommendation, especially for those of you who've always wanted to move to Germany, maybe live there for a while, get a job, experience the country. I mean, why wouldn't you with amazing customs like a Krampus run, right? The German state of Baden-Württemberg, that's this one, released a really cool web series as part of their campaign, The Land. It's all about showing the world what amazing job opportunities there are in Baden-Württemberg. Mercedes and Porsche have their headquarters there, for example, but there are also tons of other really interesting businesses who are looking for passionate professionals from all over the world like yourself maybe, and the series is actually really funny. It's about a film team who's trying to make the perfect image film about Baden-Württemberg, and while doing so, they visit different companies and also show a lot of other aspects of the state. The wine culture, for example, because yes, Germany is not only big on beer, we also make really good wine. So the series is both entertaining and really informative. 
as you know, if you've already seen my last video, we watched the first episode together. So make sure to check out the series here on YouTube. And spoiler alert, Nelf even has a cameo in it. I'll link it up here and in the info box below for you. And for job listings and more information about career opportunities in Baden-Württemberg, education, healthcare, and more, just visit theland.de, the land with AE to replace that umlaut A, theland.de, and that's where you'll find all the information you need. Thank you guys so much for watching. A big shout out to Christoph Falz and Flula for explaining Krampus to America. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It's free and it's a great help for me. Also hitting the thumbs up button and leaving a comment is super helpful. And if you would like to support me and my channel beyond that, you can leave me a tip with the super thanks button below. Buy me a coffee on ko-fi.com or you can join my Patreon family and get a personalized thank you note from me, a discount to my shop, including the Glühwein mugs, ad-free versions of all of my videos, and more behind the scenes insights. And if you haven't seen it yet, I'm currently doing an advent calendar, advents calendar, where I read from my childhood advent calendar every single day. It's basically telling the Christmas story day by day. And you can find the clips here on YouTube as YouTube Shorts, but also on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. So make sure to follow me on those platforms if you don't do so yet. Today's story, today's door is already up. And yeah, I hope I'll see you there or next time here on YouTube. Tschüss!